the plane has landed. After the fate of El Al hung in the air since COVID-19 grounded passenger flights, Israel's national carrier has been struggling to stay afloat. But the state could now be the wind beneath its wings. The struggling airline accepting an Israeli government bailout that would likely give the state some 61% of the firm. El Al given a $250 million government-backed loan, with guarantees for some 75% of it should the firm default. Also included is a stock offering in the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange to raise some $150 million in a bid to prop up equity in a company now $2 billion in debt. But it doesn't spell good news for the workers. The deal demands efficiency steps, which could lead to some 2,000 employees being fired. The state, though, must buy any unsold shares, which could see the airline once again the majority stakeholder. This some 16 years after LL privatized the aviation industry needing some emergency life support. The CEO of Israel's main airport, Ben Gurion, warning that the country is only days away from reaching the point of no return.